Welcome back to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to continue with my Blitzkrieg All Objectives Completed DLC Guide for Unity of Command 2. Now, I gave you guys choice to go with either with the historic track or the alternate historic track. You guys picked the historic track, which is actually quite good for me because I don't need to pay the 50th prestige to go into the alternate history. If you want to see, you can also look in the screen right now to see what changes I made to the HQ. And now we're going to begin with this attack. All right, welcome to the tactics window for this attack. I'm going to tell you how to do this with the trick. The trick is not completely necessary, but I find it make it easier to handle the supply. So what you're going to do is you have an airplane kind of on the left side of the map here, and you're going to take it and on the first turn, you're going to place the enemy unit, your own unit here, and then you're going to move the unit upwards towards Vinia's wing end. This will make it easy for you to get Vinia's wing end. You will then use this resupply thing that you have over here to make sure that the unit can go there and back. Then uh, normally what you do if you don't use the trick is you would put the unit on the hex right next to Stavanger. However, it will then be a bit more problematic to get the supply right. So I find this a little bit easier. On the, your first turn, you want to make sure that you place a unit here and attack Frederick's Then This is important because you can gain a port there. And your pirate troops are going to be placed right next to Fornebu so that you can take over Fornebu next turn. You could also place your pirate troops straight up on Fornebu. That's pretty possible. I find it easier if you take them away because there is always like a slight chance that your unit will get killed if you're using the pirate troops attack. So it's a bit easier to just stand next to it. Now, uh, how are you going to deal with Honefos and Kongsberg? It's actually quite simple. You're going to unsupply them. You need to step over here so you need to move unit very quickly ideally on turn two over here and then in two more turns it's going to be able to step over there and unsupply both Honefos and Kong's back. As for Konsvinga, you, you can also unsupply it simply by standing over here. Here, a, a good suggestion is to try to go there and then step away from this particular hex because the enemy unit, once it gets unsupplied enough, it seems to like to step over there. So you can then take Konsvinga very easily because no one's going to be standing there. Hamar is not about unsupplying. Hamar is simply about moving there and killing any unit that's there. So you're just going to walk over there and take it. And at that point, you should be able to have everything except Stavanger. Stavanger you can take on turn two very simply by taking the unit that's going to be here on Egezund and moving it towards Stavanger. All right, now that you know the tactics, let me show you how it's done. All right, we start off with the Naval Star attack at Frederikstand, and then we're going to place our unit as we explain the tactics window right next to Frederikstand. Our tarps, pirate troops are going to go next to Fornebu. We've gotten a new card that allows us to gain more air strike, but we're not going to be using it in this scenario at all. Then we're placing our unit. It's important that you place it on the left bottom of Iron Dead and not on the right bottom, otherwise it will take your entire movement to move across the river next turn. Then we're going to be using our airstrike on Christian Sand after and then attack it with our unit. This is really important because you want to hurt the unit on Christie's sense as much as possible. Now, as I explained in the tactics window, we're using the trick where we're taking the pirate troops and moving them at least halfway towards Evinia's wing in. Right, and that's actually it for our first turn. And the enemy is just putting some supply up there. We don't really care. Now we need to focus on attacking the unit in Oslo. We're going to use an airstrike here just to try to get some better odds. Yeah, now we can get 0 2 instead of 1 1, and then we're going to step into Oslo. This is quite important because in Oslo there is a, a supply connection. So now if we're going to move, we need to take control of the railway, which is going to give our supply everywhere. Then we're going to place our HQ on Oslo and grab the units that we, new units that we can get. So as I explained, we need to get a unit right next to Honefos. So we just did that. And with our other units, we need to make sure that we control the railway so that the supply is going to be connecting up to Honefos. You can also resupply the unit right below Oslo to make sure everybody has the right supply. I'm also now placing, I had um, armor increasing uh, step and artillery that I could place in some of my uh, units. And then we're going to be moving the HQ a little bit closer to Konsvinga. 
I'm not quite sure how to read that properly, so I'm just trying. Now you can see with Iron Dad, we actually have really good movement. That's because we placed ourselves on the right spot. Now when it comes to Christian sign, we need to finish off the unit. Um, more often than you know, you'll be able to kill them off on the first turn. In this case, we got a little bit unlucky, but you know, it is what it is. Now we're going to try to get Stavanger. And we'll be moving right next to, right on the hex next to Stamina and using our last naval strike to try to do as much damage as we can. Now we actually won't be able to place a new unit here because we're standing on that spot right now, but it's still pretty important to do anyway. And this will also ensure that the unit that there will be supplied, which is quite important. You could place a supply hub here. Uh, actually, we don't we don't need to do that yet. But we are going to place a supply hub here on somewhere here. I think we'll go right here next to Honefoss, just to make sure that the units around are supplied. Okay, we're gonna end our turn. Got trucks available, that's fine. And they're moving away their HQ, that's fine. Alright, so first thing we want to do is we want to start moving up here towards Konzwinge and also up towards Hamar. So we need to see what else we've got. So we've got a unit there might want to move towards, but we also have new units. So we need to check like where the new units can go. You can go this way. The other new unit could help go that way. And the third new unit could go here. So we're going to step with this unit there towards Honefoss and the other one is going to go step on the supply hub. You need to move forward. So we've got zero two, so that's definitely useful. And here we've got a two one. Hmm. You could use an airstrike, but I don't know yet if I want to use it here. So instead, let me just focus on some of the other ones. With this unit, we just move forward. You might say, well, it's unsupplied. That's all right, because we can connect it up here this way. And now it's actually going to be supplied. Here, we need to step over into Winian's wing in. We're not going to resupply them yet. We're actually going to wait for the following turn before we resupply them. Here, we need to kill the unit. And we're actually not going to step into Stavanger with this unit. We're going to step into it with the new one. So we're going to place it over here, step into Stavanger, and now we're going to run backwards. Now these units will be unsupplied for a while, but then they, but we're going to place a supply track here so that once they get close enough, like somewhere in this area, they will already have supply from that. So that will be helpful. This will resupply next turn. This will get resupplied by itself. And here we're just going to wait. Now we could use a faint attack. But it's not particularly helpful here. We could also use a faint attack, but notice that they're still fully supplied. We'll use the faint attack here. It's not that it's going to help us in any way because they can get themselves resupplied, so it's not going to be helpful. So instead, let's maybe try to attack like this unit with an airstrike. Oh, they didn't give us anything. Okay, in that case, we'll just end our turn. Nothing else to do. It was worth a shot. Could have been some nice damage to them. Yeah, that, so that unit we had to watch out for, like, if it tried to go over the river and take over Oslo, that would be a problem. But thankfully, that's not the, the, the case. I'm gonna grab their supply hub. Could we move? And now, if once we move here, we actually now unsupplied Konzwinger. This is quite important, and it's going to help us significantly. Now, we're going to use an airstrike here. We need to start pushing towards Hamar. Uh, we don't really have the best odds. Oh, with this unit, I could get one too, though. So if I go there, here, I'll go with you. I'll use the one, two. Okay, another one, two. I guess that's fine. And then here, we're going to move forward as much as we can. It will just move like this. You could get a two, one. Just going to try to go a little bit around. Sometimes it can be a good idea to have this space empty to try to lure them into stepping out. Because if they step out, you can take over Conswinger easily and they won't be able to do anything. What we can do here, which is even more important, is we now unsupplied Ho Honefoss and it's turn four. So in two turns, it's going to be quite weak. And that's the turn where we need to take them. So that's going to be helping us a lot. Now let me resupply this unit up here and Vinyas Vingen. And it's going to run downwards to try to help itself out. 
Now these units also need to run like crazy so that they can get to supply. So we're gonna try as much as we can. So this unit will be supplied next turn easily and for this unit it will be a bit easier because since the supply hub is here it will help them connect themselves up. You're going to run towards there. Now here you might want to remove this supply hub because ideally next turn I'd like to place a supply hub somewhere like here so that when these units get closer and maybe this unit could go upwards we could kind of meet up and make it a bit easier for that unit to survive. Okay, so these two are now unsupplied. Oh, sorry, clicking the wrong thing. These two are now unsupplied, this as well, and now we get a focus at Hamar. We're gonna end our turn and see what happens. Now they're pushing back, that's good, so we can move a bit faster at Hamar. Okay, it's turn five. We don't need to take anything this turn, but in the following turns. All right, zero two is great, we can totally destroy that. Another zero two on Hamar. They actually stepped away from Hamar, so we can go straight into it. Here we're just gonna try to get closer so we could hit them up if we need to. We get a one one here. Just gonna resupply myself first. I think I'll do Conswing in the following turns. We have two more turns for them. So we actually don't need to worry about it too much. Let's actually go back here. Like I said, we could have left this open so they could step away, but I'm actually not going to do it now because I think we're doing quite well. And we don't really need it. Uh, I don't want to do the one one, it's unnecessary. Now, we're going to move my HQ a little bit in this direction. And the reason for that is that we could resupply this unit in the following turns if we wanted to. Now we don't have the best odds in here. Two, one, three, zero. We could place a supply hub there, but since there's no one standing there, it's a bit risky. So they could like try to take it or something. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna move you upwards and you there. I think I'm gonna move this unit back just so it can get resupplied next turn and then we can move it backwards if need be. In that case, what we could well, actually, okay, let's, let's first check this unit. Yeah, are you gonna be able to get close enough? If I move you like this, Next time you should be able to get on this main supply hub, so you will be fine. You will move through and you as well. So now both of these will be supplied. Next time this is going to be fixed. So actually we don't need the supply hub there. So we're going to move the supply hub here. And then we're going to step, but the thing is if I step there, they could try to step into this position and resupply Konsberg. But then they left Honefoss, so I can just straight up step into Honefoss. That'll make Konsberg a bit more difficult, but not crazily difficult. Or we could just not do that. That's also an option. I'm gonna do it. They're probably not gonna leave Hanefos anyway. I think it's too risky for them. I'm also gonna do this one one because why not? Okay. <laughs> that one better than expected. Okay, we'll step into Hanefos next turn. I didn't expect that. That was uh, way easier than we thought. All right, so we're down there and we're okay here. We're not gonna do the one one here because we said it's unnecessary. So we will just, oh, we have a zero three here. We should definitely utilize that. We'll just end our turn, see what they do. Okay, they're doing nothing. All right, now it's turn six. We need to take both Honefoss and Kongsberg, and that's it. But we want to start here to a zero two. We can do zero two on people in Kongsminger, so that's useful. Let's do that over here as well. And we will step in. So we got Conswinger. We don't actually need to take it this turn, but why not? Let's get the cheaper specialized set attack. That's actually pretty good. Uh, let's get towards the unit. It's going to help us out later. Now, Honefus, I can just take. Now, Kongswinger. We can get zero two. Sorry, Kongsberg, not Kongswinger. We get zero two. We can immediately hit this up. Get a zero two here as well. 
and you could move there, get a zero two. Yeah, we've got some good stuff. One, two. I mean, okay, if I step with you away, I can get a zero two. So let's do that. That's better. Okay. This unit just needs to go to safety to be supplied. You follow, you follow. Now we've got all the objectives on turn six. Now, if you'd like, you can then utilize uh, your turns to try to, you know, get some zero two. Also, since we've got a lot of these. Now, because Hamar is not a main objective, I'm actually going to use some, do something a bit weird. I'm going to move away from it because I don't need to hold it. And I'm going to use this reorganization thing to take away some of these uh, steps because this will allow me at the start of the next battle, I will be able to move some of these in the best possible positions for my, um, for my HQ. So I will be able to place it on, for example, a tank or something because what we had that was that was like an armor so that was actually not something you want to have an infant it's something you want to have on on a, on a tank so that's why i'm just doing that uh and i think we are done we have an air attack that we've got nothing to do with it so we're just gonna end it here all right and we're victorious Click on right to watch the next uh, mission. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.